The reason why we did this study is that years ago there was some concern about how much of the planet's net primary production people were demanding on an annual basis. In other words, the question was, is can the Earth keep up? If you look at the planet, uh, the land surface produces a certain amount of vegetation based on all the agricultural inputs we have now, our natural climate, the natural ecosystems. That's an amount that sort of constitutes the total available amount of biomass that's, that's present for consumption. And the human appropriation component, as we've measured it, is actually how much NPP, or plant growth, is required to generate the products that are being consumed annually by people all over the world in terms of food, fiber, and building materials, and also fuel for charcoal and, and wood-based fuels. We used satellite data uh, over a long period of time to estimate how much plant material the land surface generates, and then compared that against the amount of plant material that humans need, products for, of food and fiber and fabrication. And we found that two things are happening. We are increasing our per capita consumption. So as individuals, we are increasing how much we consume on an annual basis, and we're also increasing our populations. So both of those uh, factors have come together to move us from about 20% of the actual global supply to consuming 25%. And so what we're concerned about is that in the future world where we've increased both populations and consumption, that we may hit some tipping point where uh, the, the ecosystems as they are now in the current climate that we have will not be able to produce enough of the products that we need to keep the lifestyle that we have now. If that future trend continues, we're going to be pushing more than 55% of the capability of the land surface by 2050. If you bring into that now the conversion of land to produce fuels to replace fossil fuels, then the pressure even becomes more severe. So what we're finding is that the biosphere doesn't really care if you have a, a few people consuming a lot or a lot of people consuming a little. It's the total amount in the end that actually matters. And so we as a, as a species, we have two issues. We have our per capita consumption to think about and our overall numbers. The implications of, of such high demand come about in various ways. One is, is that we are vulnerable to climate change and that we have to very carefully manage uh, our ecosystems so that they keep producing the products that we require. Also, we have to worry about the loss of biodiversity from the natural ecosystems because there'll be fewer of those left as we have to convert more and more land to uses that produce the products that we use on a daily basis.